see you. Oh, it's dynamite. Thank you. What's going on? Just looking dynamite, I yeah. guess. <laughs> How's it been going so far? Do you know where you are? I'm in Toronto. Yeah? Did you know where you were yesterday? Um, Saint Jean <laughs> at a balloon festival. Yeah. Yeah. Do you take a second every now and then to be like, okay, where have I been? Where the hell am I going? Yes, right before I go on stage. I'm like, where am I? What language do they speak? Yeah. Am I at like a middle school? Should I not cuss? <laughs> so yeah, I take a second. Yeah. Uh, when you when you get ready for this, is was this the dream right now? What we're seeing right because there's been a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then this. You know what I mean? Is this the dream what we're going to see on stage tonight? The thing that you put all your energy towards? Yes. I mean, I've designed it from scratch. Yeah. And ever since I was 15, I always said, and when I got my record deal, the whole goal was always, I want a traveling party. I want a traveling cult of misfits that make people feel good and. Yeah are fun as hell and so yes tonight I'm living the dream in uh, front of a lot of people. How often do you take a moment to be like God you know what it's sort of working? Uh, well usually I'm too busy working Yeah. but usually on stage you'll yep. see a TikTok I have like a plethora of glitter thousands of dollars worth of glitter yeah. just ejaculating <laughs> all over all my fans. Doing what again sorry? Ejaculating <laughs> all over my fans and that's when I really get to soak it in. And, uh, do you have humbling moments? Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, every night. I mean, the fact that anybody pays money to see me sing songs is absurd. Yeah. But I'm stoked about it. Nice. And uh, what you're wearing right now, how um, different than what you're wearing right now will be what we see on stage? Um. Well, I always do everything, whether they love it or hate it. It's like, it's all my idea. There's a lot of vintage happening. Yeah. And self-designed. <laughs> and those shorts. Shorts are self-designed. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and all my outfits on stage, I designed myself. Are you a control freak? Um, only with things I really give a shit about. Really? Yeah. What do you really give a shit about? Obviously my music, yeah. my fans, getting laid, glitter. When's it really getting laid? When's the last time you got laid? <sighs> Come on. Oh, it's been like... Do you have a boyfriend? Hell no. Okay. I got hoes in different area codes. Really? Come really? on now. How many hoes do you have in different area codes? Well, right now I kind of bring them with me. I brought a few out. I bring them out. They kind of, you know, they come in waves. Do they know? About each other? Yeah. No. No? That's not rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> Unless we all team up together, then they know. Uh, what is like? Um, do you travel light? Do you travel heavy? Do you bring stuff from home to make the road feel like home, aside um, from hoes? I bring my hose. I bring. I have Christmas lights in my back bunk. Yeah. Because it just makes me feel like my my old apartment. Yeah. Um, what else do I bring? I have a dog that comes every once in a while. I bring on my mom sometimes. Yeah. Really? Mhm. Mm what does your mom think of this? Does she? Oh, my mom loves it. Yeah. We were just in Hungary, and that's like my homeland because we're part Hungarian, and yeah. we have a dancing penis in my show. So she came out. <laughs> and she's like, "Let me be the penis, please, in my homeland." So I was like, "Fine, mom, you can be the penis." And she like did a Hungarian jig in a penis outfit. <laughs> she loves it. Uh, when's the? Uh, I mean, when you know that everybody's watching everything you do, um, do you ever see a picture of yourself where you're like, you know what? I, I didn't even see a camera, and yet that picture is everywhere online. Oh, all the time. Yeah? But I don't Do you really get go, over it? Oh, I don't go online. That's the main way I combat that yeah. problem. But when I do, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to be stopped from living my life. So yeah. take pictures of it, whatever. Yeah. Are you a hard girl to date, you think, because of this life? Oh, of course. I think it's. I'm intimidating to begin with because I like have a potty mouth, and I write songs about cannibalism yeah. and things like that and so and then on top of that I'm on tour so it is hard yeah. but that's why I have the circulating hose uh, we already covered this topic the idea of a potty mouth here's the thing is that you have a potty mouth but you're very good at it thank you do you know what I mean some people are really good at swearing some people are terrible at swearing what's the most eloquent thing that you could say the string of profanity that you could give to me right now What's your favorites all strung together in a line? Well, do you know what actually my favorite one is? Because you can probably air this. Yeah. Is I just, like, my new favorite thing is a douchebag. Because it's very PG, and you can That's say that true. on any television channel, That's... any hour of the day. <laughs> and it's still offensive yet funny. <laughs> When's the last time you got in trouble for something? Oh, like every day. What'd you get in trouble for today? I can't tell you, because I'll get in trouble again. No, what'd you get in trouble for today? I, I was just... I was talking about cannibalism, but I can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> like actual cannibalism? No, I can't talk about like, it. Are you a fan? Like I how, can't how, talk can you, about how can you get in trouble talking about cannibalism? In what context do you get in trouble I talking can't... about cannibalism? What? <laughs> do you what? Like my hair? 
I love your hair. Thank you. You know I think you're gorgeous. Uh, that's all of Toronto right there. What do you want to say about the show? Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out for tonight. Tonight's going to be crazy. It's like the dance party of the decade, I swear. Yeah. You'll see. And uh, Mocha's not here. Mocha's a little brown guy that does a show with me in the morning. Can you say something to Mocha? Make yeah. it sexy. Mocha, I wish you were here so I could undress you with my eyes. But you're not, so I'll do it in my mind. I love you. I also think he's a virgin, but that's just me. Let me de-virginize you, <laughs> please. It'll be funny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wicked night. Thanks for hanging out.